everybody so today I have another MacBook Air in here for repair uh, took a quick look at uh, took a quick look at it to see now there's no power so when I plug in the AC adapter we're supposed to see a light right on these models we're supposed to see a, like an AC light or something maybe the fan will spin we plug it in absolutely nothing no fan spin no lights no AC light usually that's something right we need to see really what the problem is now Whenever you see that there is absolutely no light here, and we do have the battery disconnected as well, the, the light is like a charging indicator light. Uh, there's a lot of things that that, that could mean. Um, it can be the cable here. There's an L cable. It can be that. It can be a problem with the, the jack here. Or if it's a motherboard problem, it's usually a problem more with the SMC. Maybe there's corrosion. Maybe there's something going on there. So we'll take a look at it. We're going to go through the steps. Just troubleshoot it and see what's going on. What the, we lifted it up. And let's see. Aha. So there's a little bit of corrosion, pretty close to where the SMC is. You see that blue next to my finger? Let's go into the microscope. Let's take a look. All right, so we see that there is a lot of damage from the liquid, and you can see a lot of the areas are corroded. A lot of these probe points are very, very dirty, and they have a lot of corrosion on them. So we need to expose them because that's going to allow the path of electricity to actually flow a lot better. But you can also see on the top here, there's some components that are a little bit too damaged. We're going to have to replace them, as well as there's other, other ones we're going to have to replace as well. So we need to expose all the probe points here, and we need to expose uh, the main connections. We can add a little bit of solder too. That's going to help clean off a lot of the liquid damage. It's going to, uh, with some flux, it's going to absorb a lot of the dirt, debris, liquid uh, damage there, and it's going to make a nice connection so the electricity can flow. So we're going to go ahead and replace them, and we, you can see we did expose the probe points a little bit more, and we exposed the board a little bit more. So what we can do is, because there's so much damage there, um, we need to avoid this area. And what we're going to be doing is actually making a jumper. And we're going to be using a wire to make this jumper so we can connect a few of these components to allow the flow of electricity to avoid the damaged area and to connect to where it's supposed to connect. So we're going to go ahead and do that, and we're going to make sure that we use a lot of solder here, and we're going to add, obviously, some flux. We're going to connect them all to each other, and we're going to allow the electricity to pass and even avoid uh, the whole entire uh, part of the damaged area. And that's pretty much why it's called a jumper, because what are we doing? It's going to <laughs> do exactly what it's doing. It's going to make sure that the electricity is going to flow and jump over the bad area to connect to the, the positive area, which is going to be very good. And we are going to make sure that this works fine. And now everything looks to be pretty good. We cleaned up a lot of liquid damage, and it's going to work totally fine, most likely. But let's go ahead and test it just to make sure. Okay, so we put it back. Hopefully it should work fine. I think so. Let's plug it in. I already plugged almost everything in, so I think it'll be okay, though, still. Fan spin. See that? You can see a fan spin. We'll hold option because I don't want to show the customer's information. But I have a hard drive in this time. Normally I don't. Put that in because we would just like test it make sure there's no other problems with the board make sure everything else is fine but i think it should be okay the lights on we got an orange ac light you can see um it might do like a reset yep the now there's a chime and you go right to a boot menu dirty screens we gotta clean it lights always like wipe it down too okay so we see macintosh hd that looks to be pretty good and that's it looks like we did a repair Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please leave a like. It really does help us a lot. Um, subscribe for more content. And uh, we do lots of, like, data recoveries, liquid spill repairs, um, motherboard repairs. So we can fix shorts and lots of other different things that actually do go on. Check it out. We have lots of videos on this channel, uh, especially by now. If you're watching, definitely stay tuned if you like that stuff. And we also do lots of cool software talks, lots of other cool things. So definitely stay tuned if you want to do that. Subscribe for more of that stuff. So thanks a lot for watching. See you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.